case that we have today is around a flight school, um, to, uh, specifically using a piece of equipment called a NAL, NAL Research 9601 piece of hardware, which is a portable tracking device. Um, this portable tracking device we've found has had a lot of applications in the aviation industry. It was used in this particular flight school and had a fantastic outcome for them around the fact that they were able to move it from aircraft to aircraft and use it for the trainee pilots. And this particular saving uh, situation was where they had a trainee pilot that was going on their first solo, which means they're in an aircraft on their own for their first time and they have to fly a, a certain course. He took the, the portable device, put it on the aircraft, turned it on and he took off for the day. Because it's tracking, the, his, his teacher was able to monitor the aircraft's progress and in near real time. Following his progress, um, our, our pilot from a local company started his, his course, started heading off, and uh, the, the, the uh, teacher actually saw that he started to drift off course where he wasn't supposed to be going. Stayed quiet, just watched it because obviously people have a tendency to fly in different directions from time to time. Watched him, the pilot then started to get a little bit nervous, it got disorientated while he was up there and made his first call in to the Home Office saying, look, I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to be, um, can you please help me? The teacher was able to look at the screen in near real time, see where he was and direct him to his first point. At that stage, he directed him to where he needed to be, so he was there. everyone was quite happy, but they thought, well, we better keep an eye on this guy. He got to his first point, turned around, started to come home. The cloud layer had, had come in, so he wasn't able to see the ground very easily. Um, he was coming back and again drifted way off course and started to get really quite concerned because he couldn't see the ground, he didn't know where he was going to land, he didn't know where he was in relation to where he should be. And by using the Iridium network and the tracking service, the, the teacher was able to direct him all the way back to the airport and land safely. Now, without tracking and without this type of service, um, that could have ended very, very differently. I think the chief flying instructor summed it up best when he said, the tracking system allowed us to avoid a tragic outcome in this situation. With no radar coverage, the ability to see where our aircraft are, wherever they are, as in this case, was a lifesaver. We have a very um, rugged and extreme terrain down in the bottom of the world in New Zealand, which fits perfectly with the whole Iridium situation where we're looking for a global coverage that is mission critical, as we say, that it operates most of the time. No, obviously nothing is 100%, but it is the best that is out there by far. So we obviously recommend the best networks for these types of mission critical operations. And the topography, the lack of infrastructure, the lack of radar coverage, the lack of cellular coverage, Iridium is absolutely the natural choice. Thank you.